I'm not the richest man in the world. I'm not the most successful man in the world. But you know what? I fucking believe in myself, and I fucking am gonna make it. Like I don't care what nobody says. Why you do me so bad? Why you do me this way? What's going on, fam? It's your boy, Chef Willie. You are now home inside of the Chef Central. And I always say that. I always say you are now home inside of the Chef Central, but you guys don't even know what the Chef Central is. So let me go ahead and give you guys a quick little tour, a behind-the-scenes look of what the Chef Central is all about. So here we go. All right, so we're going to start right here. This is where all the magic happens, baby. This is where all night, you know, I'm up swiping all night, left and right on Tinder. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I never swipe on Tinder. But... Here it is, guys. Oh, look at that. It looks so magical, right? It looks so magical. This is my home, guys. This is the Chef Central. This is where I work out of every day, making you guys the value content that you all love and enjoy. And yeah, man, this is just the wall of fame. These are all the people that influenced me growing up and just all the goats in my definition in their own categories and stuff like that. And of course, the one goat right here, man. R.I.P. to Kobe. And yeah, we also got... The young future goat over here. Chef the kid! Yeah, man, that's me. You know, I decided to put myself on the wall of fame because at the end of the day, when my story is done and told, I am gonna be on the real wall of fame, you feel me? And I'm also a Marvel nerd, you know, I'm a geek, you know, dweeb, whatever you wanna call me, but yeah, that's it for inside of the Chef Central. Nah, if you guys like videos like this, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated with changes and, you know, more stuff to come in the future, but. That's it, I'll see you guys over there in the video. So welcome back to the video. Um, today's video, uh, I just wanted to kind of do, you know, no music in the background, kind of like a moment of silence. Um, you know, um, <clears throat> as everybody knows, like we lost, you know, a great person uh, recently, uh, Kobe. I don't know if you guys can even see him. Uh, but I got him on my wall of fame, you know. If you guys don't know, the wall of fame is just, you know, um, the wall of just people that have inspired me as a kid, you know, growing up. And I even have myself as a baby. You guys, you guys seen it. But, um, yeah, man, uh, today's video topic is really just going to be talking about, it's just, you know, just inspire to be great, you know. Just inspire to be great and just, you know, watch things just, you know, come naturally and just come you know, towards you in the, in the positive way. Um, so everybody knows, um, you know, uh, Kobe died um, tragically, man. And, you know, a lot of people are sad and stuff about it. You know, I'm even, you know, sad just thinking about it. I can't even believe he's gone. But I think the thing that Kobe really left us here with is, um, well, from me speaking, it's just to, you know, be the best version of yourself, man. Just be the best version of yourself and, you know, you're just going to reap the rewards from, you know, just people, you know, just seeing that you on your ground. People see, people respect, you know, whether, you know, people say it to you or not, you know, you need to know that people really do respect the stuff that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. If you're grinding and, like, just really going for something, you might not see it in, like, your immediate circle, but there are people out there that respect and just, you know, see what you have going on and see what you're moving toward. So, you know, it really shouldn't take, you know, moments like, you know, somebody passing away, you know, for us to just come and celebrate, you know, people when it it this this is just really kind of a hard video for me to make cuz you know, me growing up, you know, I always looked up. When I first got into basketball, really, I looked I was Allen Iverson was the first basketball player that caught my eye, like just his style and just crossover. And I was actually watching the finals, I think it was 2001, and I seen him against Kobe and um, or the Lakers. And man, just just seeing those guys battle, like they're both, they're, they both were fierce and they both love their craft so much. And that's why Kobe is here on my wall. Kobe is here on my wall because like, I just love what he did for the game. Like he wasn't there to make friends he was there to be the best player that he could be, man. And he was always striving and just, you know, going for something. And it just to have a career that he had, you know, in basketball and just to see where he was just moving forward towards, like, the future. Like, basketball was only one phase of his life. You know, if you guys don't really know too much about Kobe, like, Kobe was on to, like, bigger things. Like, 
I believe he won like an Oscar and stuff like that. Just like who does that? You know, not a basketball player, but it's just Kobe was more than a basketball player, man. Kobe was like he was an icon, man. And um you know, he left this earth, you know, doing the stuff that he wanted to do and just you know, just really being the best version of himself, guys. So it's like a lot of people are, you know, feeling sad and just, you know, feeling bad just about, like, what happened and stuff like that. But, you know, Kobe Kobe left this earth, unfortunately. Um, but he left, he left a mark, you know. And the thing is, guys, we all have to realize is we can all be idolized, right? And the thing is, you don't want to work to be idolized. You have to idolize yourself. You have to be on your grind and just push, 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 push. Go, 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 go. Whatever it is you're doing, if you really truly care about it and you really truly feel like this is something you really believe in, you have to go for that shit, man. You cannot just be around here just not believing in yourself, man. Because if you don't believe in yourself, nobody will. Like, I'm pretty sure nobody, you know, believed in Kobe, but Kobe idolized himself. He's seen his, Kobe in his head, he's seen himself better than Jordan. And that's how you have to feel with everything, man. Like, you just really have to go for something, just want to be the best. And, like, people are going to love and just appreciate you for that, man. Like, that's why, honestly, it's, it's, it's really, it's really, like, it just hurts for me just, like, to even talk about, like, just stuff like this. And it's just, like, you know, I wasn't going to come in today and, you know, and even make a video about this. But it's just, like... Kobe, it's just, I, I just can't realize, like, I really can't realize, like, he's gone, but he's never gone in my memory. Obviously, he's on my, he's on my wall of fame along with, like, a lot of, a lot of other people that inspired me, but it's, it's just, like, we, we really have to appreciate people while they're here and what they've done for us while they're here and not wait till they're gone to just, like, really sink stuff in. Let's, let's take the step every day to just, you know, Tell somebody that we love them. Tell somebody that we care about them. Tell somebody how we feel. And not just hold on to like any grudges or any like bad feelings or or we sh we really shouldn't be paying attention to negative shit to be honest with you guys. Like to be honest with you guys, we tune into the negative so much that it's just like really like drowning this world in just negativity and hate. And it's just like it shouldn't really take moments like this for us as people you know, in this world to show love, man. It really shouldn't. But that's going to be it for today's video, man. I don't really want to keep going because I'm still like, you know, I still don't believe none of this stuff is real, but I'm internalizing it, you know, in a good way, you know, because Kobe's in a better place, you know, regardless of the situation. And just the mark that he left on this world is just astounding. And we can all do that exact same thing if we inspire to just be the best versions of ourselves, man. I'm telling you guys, like, look, I'm not the richest man in the world. I'm not the most successful man in the world. But you know what? I fucking believe in myself and I fucking am going to make it. Like, I don't care what nobody says, you know. And that's the same way. That's the same mentality that I'm sure Kobe had. And, like, that's something, like, he really just showed me, you know, coming up as a man, you know. But... That's it for today's video, guys. Um, you're not exiting the Chef Central. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.